Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Board Game Design Cuppa. I'm your host, Matthew Johnson, running a bit late this morning. Uh, so thanks, everyone, who's dropped by already. Uh, morning, Nicholas. Morning, Bass. Uh, yes, <laughs> not, not too early, just on time. Uh, I, I was the one that was a bit uh, a bit running a bit late. Uh, uh, morning, Rob. Morning, Manila. How are you going? How's everyone? How's everyone? Morning, Alex. Uh, Alex, I got your your message. Sorry, I haven't. Uh, well, look away. <laughs> wow, you're so so offended with me, Alex. Um, yeah, I got your message. I uh, I will take a look and um, have a go at the, at the thing you sent me. Uh, but thanks for that. Uh, so, how's everyone doing on this fine? Uh, I guess it's, it's pretty much Wednesday for, for everybody. Uh, Wednesday morning. Um, it's a it's an overcast kind of morning here in Prague, but. Uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. It's definitely got got cold again. Uh, I mean, not super cold, but uh, yeah, there was there was a time there where you thought that uh, it looked like it was going to be spring coming around, but um, it's gone back to be. Um, back. Uh, oh, sorry, say, there you go. I hope, hope the commercial was uh, you know probably from Amazon Prime, I guess, or, or something like that. Uh, yeah, how, how yeah, how are you going? Uh, yeah, so it's been it's a bit of a um, it's the mid midpoint of the week, uh, of course, for bottled water. Well, I hope I hope it was, hope it, I hope it influenced your behaviour subtly. Uh, um, I've got my tea. I've got green green tea with lemon this morning. Um, something a bit different. I can't I can't have Earl Grey that this early at, at, in the morning. So I, I start with something a little a little lighter. Hope you all have a have a have a nice hot beverage with you uh, as as you get to settle into the stream. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a um, busy streaming week. Uh, I, I am streaming uh, every day this week, uh, which is, is a bit unusual, I guess. Um, how do you is that? How do you manage to to make these things? Like, I, I I can't believe that you typed out the whole thing, but how does that work? That you manage to <laughs> produce these <laughs> blocks of uh, I, I like I no problem. I, I I'm merely fascinated by them. Uh, the uh, yeah, so obviously I was streaming on Monday. We were chatting about um, pitching uh, in twenty twenty one. More from my own kind of uh, personal personal kind of uh, perspective. I actually already have sent a few emails to those publishers that I uh, that I'd, I identified on Monday. Um, had and I even had one response very very quickly, which was which was nice. Um, and uh, so that was cool. Oh, I see. So I can try it. Okay. So, so I have to do it in front of oh like the, the uh, like the Rob I see so or if I do um, but it somehow knows that it's Rob because then it says Harper Rob it's interesting so if I tried Zate is it going to work that out whoops that's not how you spell it let's see does it do it oh no all right. <laughs> Are you are you are you leading me? Are you uh, are you giving bad advice? Say <laughs> anyway. Well, that's fine. Um, <laughs> someone will have to tell me what's going on, uh, and not say it because apparently Zayd is, is 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 manipulating me. Doesn't work with all names. Uh, okay, <laughs> I might I'm, I might leave it until until another time. Uh, yes, and on Tuesday uh, yesterday I was on Desert Stream. Um, uh, some of you came by. Thanks very much. We were chatting with with Rita and Alan and, and Bez about uh, playtesting. Uh, it was a little bit of a um, uh, what's the word? It was a little bit of a not depressing. It, it was a sobering conversation, I guess is probably the, the way to say. It. I think uh, we all, uh, you know, were pretty fortunate before before pandemic to have really great testing groups. And I think in part of it, we were sort of mourning for what we've lost currently. Um, and we were talking about virtual playtesting and things like that. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm just trying, I see. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's a, well, that's a nice one. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll check it out later. Uh, yeah. And so this is the board game design couple. Thanks everyone for joining. It's going to be chill. Yeah. For, for me, especially with all the streaming this week, uh, this stream in particular is going to be a bit relaxing, a bit, a bit unstructured, um, and I know everyone's surprised. Unstructured stream from Matt. That's so unlike him. Uh, but <laughs> that's what you're going to have today. Um, nice, easy way to start the day. Uh, oh, thanks, Nicholas. Yeah. Um, 
different but similar perspective. Yeah, it's interesting. I think as I've done more of these, uh, I don't know how many we've done together, probably three or four now between the four of us. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it, it's interesting that um, we, we are actually more similar than I thought in a way. I don't know, maybe we've come from similar. I mean, we, we're different, like, especially like someone like Alan, I think has a very different perspective on, uh, you know, um, like the types of games he designs, for example. But uh, it's just, yeah, it is interesting how how much we agree. We need we need more more dissonance in the in the panel. We need more arguments, you know, and things like that. That that's what makes good, you know, morning television or whatever they say, right? You know, you've got to have have people who disagree. Uh, but anyway, I mean, it, I, I I'm still enjoying it. It's uh, it's nice. It yeah. So um, yeah, we'll we'll keep going with it. See how it goes. Uh, oh, no worries, no worries. Uh, good luck with the job interview. Um, uh, I, hope, I hope it goes well. Yeah, uh, definitely rooting for you. Um, but uh, yeah, and then tomorrow, uh, as I keep trying to say all the time, uh, oh, shoot, I should, I can, I can be, be semi-professional and bring up the tweet where I said it, uh, so people can see some nice images, I guess. Um, blah 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 blah. If I can find it. Yeah, so uh, share screen, share screen, share that screen, share that screen. Um, so yes, so as I put out on Twitter, we've got our our kind of game designers stream stream, <laughs> game designers on stream stream. Uh, so that'll be tomorrow, seven pm GMT. Uh, between Bez, myself, uh, Amari Kill, and uh, Michael Fox. Um, and we're going to be over on Amari's channel, which is this uh, twitch.tv.akilliverse. So um, do 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 give uh, I, keep, I keep saying give Amari a follow if you haven't already. Uh, but uh, you know, it's uh, I, I'm hoping it's going to be a fun kind of um, a fun sort of discussion about what it's like uh, to be. I mean, it's kind of a pretty new thing, actually, to be a, a tabletop des game designer on stream and actually talking about design specifically, not, not like just playing other games and things like that. Um, and I don't think uh, that there's too many people. Oh, no worries, Rory. I mean, you'll be able to you'll be able to catch it up afterwards. And and I mean, if if it goes well, I mean, I don't see why we we can't stream together more in the future. Um, I think that could be a fun kind of thing to do. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll see how how it will go. But I think. I think it's interesting how we're talking about um, with with Bezos stream how we sort of you know similar kind of perspectives. What I think is interesting is that we've all, even though we're all nominally tabletop game designers, I think we've all taken pretty different approaches to to streaming and what we like to stream and what we what we do in our streams and the kind of variety there. Um, so I think I'm hoping there's going to be like some interesting kind of like contrasts and discussions and 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 I'm hoping to I. I'm probably the least, um, what's the word, um, technologically advanced amongst all of us. Uh, I'm, I'm still kind of streaming on a very basic way, so I'm, I'm hoping to pick up pick up some tips maybe as well. So um, that that should be a bit of fun. Uh, and then, uh, would you believe, um, you know, just because I, you know, I didn't think that this week was enough. Uh, I was chatting with Theo, and we'd been talking uh, for a long time that we wanted to to do a stream together. It just turns out it worked. It will work this week. So on Friday, uh, on my normal time, 4 p.m. GMT, um, I'm going to be interviewing uh, uh, Theo. Uh, well, I ha I'll be having Theo on the stream essentially. Uh, Theo Rivera, fantastic French designer, we've worked together on a few projects. Actually, we're going to be announcing one of our new releases that, that's going to be coming out in the next couple of months. Um, so it's, uh, you know, and I'm going to chat to him about, also about streaming, you know, he's he's been streaming um, uh, a bit longer than me. Uh, and, uh, he, he, you know, he, he's actually, I would say, has done incredibly well. Uh, you know, I'd say almost sort of like meteoric uh, rise uh, in, in streaming uh, in the French-speaking world. Um, so we can kind of contrast that a little bit. And uh, I think that would be, yeah, a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, yeah, so it's, it's it's four weeks still after today. So yeah, tomorrow, uh, Mari, Bez, uh, Michael, and myself, and then on Friday, it will be Theo. And I think it'll be a really fun stream. Theo, Theo is a lot of fun. Um, he, I'm trying to find, he, he then retweeted me <laughs> and says, come and listen to me speaking with a very great, uh, great French accent. 
<laughs> he, 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 I mean, his English is amazing, and obviously, like my French is terrible. So, uh, but uh, I hope I hope we'll all make uh, Theo very very welcome, and I'm sure he will. Um, so that that will be on Friday. So, so yeah, it's going to be a good week. Um, we'll see. And and it's true, I haven't done many. I had thought I was wanting to do some more. Um, you know, when I I think when I sort of started up the the stream. Um, I had thought that I would have more interviews and things like this, but uh, it hasn't kind of worked out like that. But um, so this will be. Let, let's see what it's like, and, and it's certainly something I wouldn't mind doing more of. Uh, yeah, th thanks very much. That's true. That, that's my my opinion. You know, just just do the bare minimum to, to get going. Much like you know, playtesting or game design. You know, what is it like? I am the minimal viable product uh, for for streaming. <laughs> Maybe that that should be my my tagline. Something like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm indistinguishable from you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, or says BGG forums would have you believe that there's one way to be a game designer. It's nice to hear different approaches. Games. Do you do you really think that, Rory? Is that is that your how you felt like in in the in the board game geek forums that there's kind of a very you know acceptable way to do something and and people really. I mean, I must say I haven't really gone into the game design forums. Um, on board game geek that much or at least that much recently so i don't know what what they're like at the moment but um but yeah it, i i don't know i guess it can be yeah i mean i think there's a lot of and of course big board game geek is you know as i say it's still for a particular slice of type of game um and there are a lot of games uh especially those i guess with much wider audience of max Martin and things like that that never you know never going to be very highly ranked but certainly are played with a lot, a lot of people um, beyond board game geek. So, yeah. Uh, Rory said that was my approach coming to it. There's lots of advice on about some things you must do if you want to start out designing. Oh, I see. Yeah. I mean, I guess you know. I, I think, uh, you know, I, I I think a lot of people mean well, obviously, uh, and you see it on. I think you know, in some Facebook groups as well. Um, there's a like a big. I don't know what it's called, but like the board game design. It's a big Facebook group, I think, as well. Um, which always seems to be full of Kickstarter ads and things like that. <laughs> or people saying, you know, I'm, I'm about to do my Kickstarter. What, what does this art look like or something like that? But um, yeah, I, I, it's interesting how it, it as, as the profession sort of becomes more professional uh, or not, not more professional. Yeah. They, you know, you, you, there are more and more uh, sort of resources and, and, you know, podcasts and blogs and, and streams, um, People sort of telling you what to do, and I guess, yeah, my 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 underlying point always would be that there's there's just no one right way. You know, you find what works for you. You know, much much like I, as I, you know, I, you know, same for like, you know, um, how was it like uh, personal organizational systems? You know, like some people use Gmail, some people use uh, app number, whatever. You know, like and and I just sort of you know pick and choose the bits that work for you and and make that you know make your own set of set of things that work together um but they don't have to be some you know monolith um procedure taken wholesale from from someone else so uh John, yeah i've never touched these forums those forums either chatting with others cons not what was more engaging and then you can see their work too which is better so, yeah that's true i think i mean obviously you can't substitute actual like you know human interaction and things like that um yeah uh rob says you need to you need to take them with a huge pinch of, pinch of salt yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's just like any forums, you know, free forums that are going to be pretty bare, varied uh, viewpoints, things like that. And Mandela, Mandela also agrees. Um, I've done the I've done the new uh, upgrades, Mandela. You'll be happy to know I did it yesterday. Uh, I was working on our co-design. Um, just had a bit of a few, and it's nice. It, it actually, the co-design is a really, really nice place. That it's in the place where you. The, the gameplay is really solid and, and you're getting to make like some new content and, and that always feels good because you often when you're making new content like new cards or new tiles or whatever in the early bit you're just kind of like throwing stuff at the wall you're like oh this could be interesting oh, I'll try and put these things together maybe that'll be some interesting and it's that first moment where you can come back to that and like re-rationalize it the first time and like really edit it and get rid of stuff that doesn't work or doesn't make sense or it's too weak and then and then go and like now I'm going to design 10 new things and that's the time when you normally will design ten things that are really great because you you know how the system works and it's all solid and and so I got to do that, which is which is a really nice nice point in the kind of evolution of the design, I would say. Um, yeah, uh, Rory says I, I'm sure this is unpopular 
opinion, but a lot of board game stuff feels very insular. I don't know if that's a, a particularly unpopular um, opinion. I think, I guess, I mean, the thing is that um, board games and as a, as a subset of that board game design, it's still, like, especially in the hobby space, it's still a relatively small kind of community overall, even, even kind of globally. And when you take into account that we're only really seeing, usually we're only ever seeing like the American, maybe Canadian and British kind of perspective on that, maybe an Australia, New Zealand, but that, that's also small. Like you're, you're seeing like already like a small community, you're only seeing a small geographical subset of that community, like the kind of English speaking community. Um, and you're only seeing a subset of, you know, like it's hobby strategy gamers generally. So it, it's, it's, you know, you're kind of like narrowing down the, the funnel at every point. Um, so yeah, I, you know, it's still small. And so it, I think it, um, you know, you see the same and, and, and then on top of all that, you know, a lot of the interaction is through so social media and, and obviously there are folk who, there are folk who are much more active there and there are a lot of, you know, I still think there's probably a majority of people who don't ever go on social media or will never post on forums. Uh, and say for designers, right? There are, there are a bunch, obviously there's lots and lots of designers and a lot of them will never post or stream or, or tweet or, or anything like that. And that's perfectly fine, but it just means that the stuff you do read, again, it's like even a more and more selective, selective part of all of that. Um, can get a bit clicky. Yeah, I mean, I hope I, lo I hope to think that that there's still. Oh my god, <laughs> I, I should try and. I'm almost at the point where I'm not sure if people can. Sit, how can I do this? I, like I've never ever had my hair in a ponytail, but I could almost have my hair in a ponytail at the moment. Um, I, I do look. I, I'm not sure if, you, if people have this in England or in Australia. We call it a mullet, which would be this like long, you know, hair out the back. It was not the sign of a particularly refined person, <laughs> um, but I have a pretty good mullet at the moment. Um, uh, Nick says, I'm in six design related Facebook groups now. I have, I'm on Facebook like once a week, so I don't get that much from being there anymore. Yeah, I've never, I, I, I'm more of a Twitter person ultimately, um, but I don't think that's a, a reflection of one being that made, much better than the other. You just, you become comfortable with one or the other, I, I guess. Um, oh gosh, oh my gosh, I can't keep up with thoughts. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm going very slowly. Uh, Mandela, I wonder if it's furthered by how much captures to make a definitive statement about what should or should be done. That is true. I have, I mean, I've definitely found, um, if you want to talk about engagement uh, in on, on Twitter or social media, you know, there, the times when you you say things that are, wait, you say them without, you know, qualification or without any of those kind of, I don't know, there should, there should be like a catch-all phrase for words, especially I would say, uh, English people more than American, I would say, and I, I count myself in that crowd. That's right. Where you know all those kind of little qualifying words like um, maybe or it should be or it, it can be seen or you know I feel like all these words that often you put into things, but they don't make for very catchy tweets, do they? Every every more catchy tweet is like it is like this, and you know, or you should never do this, or or I hate the people who do this, or like you know, um, yeah, and that that's just how it goes. I mean. Sometimes they can start a really interesting discussion, and and I hope that would be good. But uh, yeah, I do find that the few times that um, I say things definitively, you do tend to get a bit more response from that, whether you like it or not. Um, so it says for any of you like this, hypothetically, um, if it is with BGG BGA for a work from home job as community manager, is that is is it hypothetical or is it real? So. Uh, what does one wear? Uh, is a board game theme t-shirt or should it be more business style with t-shirt? Uh, I have not had a job interview for... Uh, have I even ever really had a real job interview? No. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Like, not really. I haven't I haven't had a job interview for a very long time. Uh, yeah, VGG theme shirt under a blazer could be could be a good idea. It's the it's the Bruno Capala look, you know, um, which I think is is good. I, I I think I think just be, I think be yourself and and be neat and presentable. But I don't think I think especially if it's a report game, like you know, like online kind of job. I think it's, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's yeah. But what do I know? I say, um, I think people generally want to share their experiences. But they're often paid as this is the way to get published, etc. Yeah. Um, no, I th yeah, it is, it's fair enough. And everyone has their own experience, right? And again, I guess the other point, 
uh, I've been talking about like subsets of subsets of subsets, so specific. Um, of course, in designers on even of the designers talk on Twitter, uh, or, or just designers in general, if I, if you were to plot um, like like a, like the number of designers like as a kind of like a bar chart of like how many designers have one game published, how many designers have two games published, how many have three games published, etc. It you know it would be like an exponential curve. There there are exponentially more people with just one game than two than three. You know, and you have very very few people who have say you know ten or more games published. Um, you know, for, for various reasons, it's it's not really to do with. I, I don't think it's a point about. I'm not making a point about. Oh, I am I am so much better than all these people. I think actually it's it's you know I'm I'm actually being fortunate and quite privileged to be in a kind of a life situation that's let me kind of devote more time to it because I think a lot of board game is just board game design is, is is practice and time and kind of having financial support to be able to do it when it's not financially viable. So um I think that exponential point is to more to do about the kind of like the the restrictions and the the kind of rea like financial realities of it rather than anything to do about talent or, or, or hard work. Anyway, but my point is that, that that means that most of that advice usually comes from a narrow, you know, most designers only have the experience of one or two publishing experiences. Um, and it's hard then to kind of give, I guess, a balanced view of, of what's actually possible, you know, because you just haven't experienced it as much. Um, and it's not it's not their fault, is it? Uh, but and that's why, you know, I've always tried and and I why I feel like I have something to offer is because I have had you know, I haven't had the most experiences. There are designers who are more experienced than I, but I, I think I've had enough experience that I can give, like, I've had a very, very range. Um, so uh, hopefully that's kind of useful for folk. <laughs> um, Vandela, oh yes, no worries. Um, oh, okay, great. Okay, I look forward to, to reading the, the feedback. There. Yeah, no, I mean, no rush, it's, it's, no, it's no problem. Um, I wouldn't have thought it would have been a popular thing. Hey, Bleep Track, how are you going? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm not sure, is this your first time here? Thank you very much for the follow as well. I just, uh, as I've been saying, I'm very technologically behind on the whole streaming thing, so I don't have any automated things. But thank you very much for the follow. Uh, and yeah, thanks for dropping by. Wednesdays are our, the normal kind of, um, uh, you know, uh, game, design, game design cup of chats, you know, between as I as I interact with folk in the chat and uh, we have a bit of fun. Uh, Rob says, problem with a lot of forums is that the given space will have a bunch of questions and stuff that they're all the time. The regulars are fed up with those cliche and new board often doesn't pick up that. Some of the regulars often get short about this kind of thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to see. Did you see the redeemed question? Oh yes. Sorry. 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 That's my fault. Um, I did, I did, uh, I did see that. So sorry, um, but did I did I answer your question <laughs> adequately? I, I I think just just neat and tidy. I I would say I I wouldn't I wouldn't. It, and if it, it is for a board game thing, I think a board game show is perfectly fine. Like I I, I honestly think that you I, I hope that you would be judged more on your ability to moderate and kind of handle yourself in an online space than than you know your your kind of like physical appearance, but. I'm not the best person to ask about these sort of things, uh, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but sorry, I missed the, the the question. But thank you for redeeming the question. <laughs> uh, the yeah, I I don't. It, it's interesting. The I don't know what 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 do you folks do think? Should I should I be a bit more active on like board game forums and things like that? So not not to say that like mine is the only way, but to add maybe a bit of a more measured opinion. I, I don't know. I mean, it's tough, but I guess like forums aren't that the best place to do that, you know, is it? Um, and I think, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it's, it's tricky. <laughs> Definitely need a hat. <laughs> that's and that's assumed that you. What, um, Brett? We uh, Brett would always joke that as a designer, you always need a shtick. You know, you always need and and usually like a like something of your physical appearance or or your your uh, uh, outfit or something like that. Uh, you know, Rainer Canizzi has the bow ties, and um, Bruno Cavall has the, the blazer and t-shirt, and um, and yeah, you need a shtick, um, and and I don't have a shtick, unfortunately. So, I, I, um, John Onward, yeah, unfortunately, more engagement tends to correlate with more pro polarizing comments, which I tend to stay away, stay away from personally. Yeah, it's, it's perfectly reasonable, and that's why actually I quite like streaming because it feels like 
it's it's a bit more of a conversation, I think. I mean, I know it's 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 somewhat abstracted, you know, chat and, and myself, but you know, it, it feels like there's there's room for people to put different opinions. Um and you know, you can try and you know, chat about them and, and things can kind of evolve and um yeah, I think I think it's kind of kind of nice. Um but, so yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll be fine, Zay. I, I really think I think you'll be fine. Uh, you you could you send them to me for a reference. You're a fantastic. You've been a fantastic mod on uh, on Meister and just generally like in the in the Twitch community. Um, you know, definitely one of my favorite people. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any problem with them, send them to me. You know, not not that I'm going to rough them up. I'm not sure if that's not sure if that's the way to success, but <laughs> I will definitely put in a good word. Um, a t-shirt with a smart suit printed on it. I have they do have those, right? That, that's interesting. Um oh gosh. I keep skipping the the chat kind of skips down and then yeah, I, I, I apologize that I I I am aware I'm about five minutes behind in chat. Um uh Rory, I find the divine between board games and video games interesting. A lot of tabletop folks seem to define themselves as board game designer. I know it's semantics, but someone who's dabbled in both feels weird that game design isn't just under one banner. That yeah, that's an interesting point actually. Um because I guess I do fall into the thing I do. Well, uh, I will sometimes say game designer. I, yeah, I don't know if I'm so much of a stickler of saying I'm a tabletop game designer. I will often say I'm just a game designer. Um, I guess, I think sometimes it, it probably comes from like in a kind of a, in a general sense, if you say game designer, I think people don't always think tabletop. Like tabletop is the less one that people think of just because video games are just a, a bigger thing. And so I guess you're kind of compensating for that to just be more accurate from the point from the first point of view because people often assume the other way. Um, and I know in the video game space, and, and I'm not like I'm not um, that experienced with it either at all. Like I mean, I have this this thing with Arnold in kind of the app space, which is um, but that's my own experience. But I, my understanding is that game design can mean slightly different things. Um, and when you say game designer, it can they can have different connotations. Um, so I guess people are trying to be a bit more accurate. But that being said, there is a lot to learn from both. And, and having it all under one banner is is really valuable. I, ju I guess it's just there are different, ultimately, there are, there are definitely like a certain set of skills which are common, but there are certain skills which are distinct between the two. And I think that's why people try and delineate them. But um, I love having... I, I personally love reading about video game design. Um, in some ways, it's a bit hard to find sometimes because it can be mixed up in in all the other things that go into making a video game, especially on like the indie side, which I find the most interesting sometimes and where you get to really talk to the actual designers because they're kind of doing everything. But a lot of those talking about those things that, you know, they're obviously sometimes a lot of te technological kind of things like about how they're building the, the game and how they have to work. There's a lot they have to work on beyond the actual design. So, you know, it can take a little bit more digging to find like the design nuggets, but but there are some really lovely stuff. And I, I talk about game well, I have Game Makers Toolkit, um, which is which I think is a one of the finest YouTube channels talking about game design. And it does focus mainly on uh, video game design, but I think a lot of the things uh, that he talks about uh, can be applied to tabletop game design or at least be quite inspiring for tabletop design. Um uh Welcome to the world not having had a job interview. Uh, well, that's quite weird. Well, yeah, as, as Nicholas says, um, I mean, academia is weird. Yeah, it's, it's um, yeah, so I mean, looking back, I'm just trying to think. Um, let's say since, since I was an undergraduate, which is uh, qu quite a while ago, about 15 years ago now. Um, I, yeah, I mean, well, firstly, because my job has been to be a student uh, for, you know, like if you count undergraduate plus PhD plus, you know, that was like nine years or something. So I, I didn't have a job in that time. Uh, and then after that, actually, in, in academia, yeah, it, I, and I mean, I went through, because I didn't change labs, like I just, I got a fellowship and actually the fellowship was quite strange in that they didn't interview for this particular fellowship. It was just an application. And then I got the fellowship, which I was extremely fortunate to do. And and I mean, it's extremely, it's a very generous fellowship to get without a, without a, um, without an interview. And then after that, I um, I kept a job in in the same lab, and 
and I didn't have to I did have to apply, but it was kind of a bit more of a formality. My boss knew me already, so yeah, I've definitely not had a very very normal way. But I have done interviews. I have performed interviews um, for prospective postdocs, and that does happen. Like yeah, like it's not all through academia. It's just it's just a particular path I, I took, I guess. Um, hey Jay, hey Jay, welcome, welcome. Um, as I said, I spent the last 20 plus years doing volunteer work, outreach amongst disadvantaged groups, a lot of working with mentally ill addicts, homeless. Oh, wow. Okay, so no job interviews, per se. Um, but with the husband leaving, I've got to get me some rent money. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure I'm, look, I, I, I really hope that, well, it's a pity though. I wish there was a way, I don't know, how do you, how do you put forward, like, how do you, like show your your expertise um because i i think you have amazing expertise in terms of uh, moderation um but i don't know how you can capture it maybe you need to clip clip me saying zade is amazing community manager yeah clip that and then put it into your interview on twitch or something like that um you should definitely definitely hire as uh yeah uh yeah uh manual Crayer, uh tweeted the other day about how the super hot card gang got completely left out of the super hot retrospective video. Feels weird to me that there's a big divide between formats. Yeah, it was an interesting um, uh, thread. Um, and it was interesting to see. I would definitely recommend um, people taking a look at that thread. I can find it. Uh, manual. Uh, um, okay, I, I can't quite find it. Uh, I'll just recommend, ha check out uh, Manuel's uh, Twitter. But uh, my reading of it was, I, I don't know, I wonder how much of it is intentional and just how much of it is just you, you don't think about it. I'm sure if you're a video game designer, maybe you, you think of these IP deals in board games as a bit separate. I'm not sure if it's, it was meant to be like that. But. I mean, it does make sense why there is a divide in some ways because, again, they're just they are different markets. They like while why while like fundamentally game design is the same, like how it's applied, I think is is quite different, and definitely the ways in which you you actually like finish a product, and distribute, and market, I think are are quite different. So I can I I can understand there's a bit of a divide. Um, that being said, I loved uh, I love any instances where you really get to bring them together. I think like the game developers conference, um, like GDC. I mean, GDC to, as an outsider seems a bit crazy because, especially as a tabletop side, because just the costs involved to even like ever go or participate seem crazy. But they do seem to be having more tabletop talks, and I would love there to be like some sort of combined panel or something someday. Um, and there used to be an amazing um, unconference in London that was sort of run by James Wallace uh, and a few other people. Um, that I can't remember what it was called. I think it was called like play or something like that. And that was amazing because it brought together like a really wide range of game designers all in this sort of unconference format. And that was a lot of fun actually. I, I really enjoyed that kind of um, atmosphere uh, for chatting about games. And, and that that for me was like actually one of the best events every year. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a lot of ranting this morning. No, that's fine, that's fine, Rory. Is there, is there something particular that, I, ho I hope everything's okay. Um, yeah. It, it, I think it's it's tough in some ways to find your place in, and, and I, I I don't always I talk about this a little bit like you um yeah like because board games is still kind of small and board games are small it does sometimes feel like there it's not like a cult of personality but you I I do sometimes feel like you have to put yourself out there and like you be involved in these discussions and and chat and like it can be do dominated by some strong personalities and it's. It's just finding, it's, it can be hard, I think, finding your place as a designer and, and how much you want to be kind of outspoken and talk about things and, and, and how much that can reflect on also your own work because in some ways it's sometimes hard for people to find your work and you want more people to be able to play your game. So you have to kind of get out there. Um, and I'm not, that's not my kind of thing necessarily, but, but it's a kind of reality of it. Um, so it's, it's uh, you know, it's... Yeah, it's tricky. No, and I, I don't find it ranty. I think you're you're asking interesting questions. So, um, and I'm very very um, appreciative of that. I, otherwise, I'd just be talking to myself, and I'm not sure if that would be particularly entertaining uh, for all the folks listening uh, at home. Um, says everyone has their own place where they're active. Uh, you're active here on Twitter, and maybe other places. You don't need to force yourself 
informed if that's not your thing. No, that, I think that's very good. Um, that is a very good piece of advice. I think, yeah, just just find where you're where you're comfortable. Um, ultimately, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. But th there is there is different definitely a bit of a feel of like you have to keep going. Uh, you have to keep growing the audience. Not not for like the kind of I'm not that worried about like social media like um, metrics or anything like that. But I think just more generally in terms of of, of helping sales of games and things like that. Um, there is a, uh, you know, there is a bit of stark reality. If you're going to make a living from game design, you have to realize that, yeah, part of that is getting people to buy your games. And if they don't know about your games, then they're not going to buy them. So you sort of have to do what, what you can there. Uh, Rory, I find, yeah, another rant from Rory. <laughs> I find Twitch streams and Discord a much better way to engage with game folks. Feels much more open mind. Yeah, great. And, and it's great that you find the, um, uh, that, that you find the, um, as, as Rob said, you find your place and I think make the most of that place. And I, and I think ultimately like you just, it, it's what, what you're looking for. And if you can get what you can from, from a particular subset of those places, then they make the most of that. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, maybe we can, I was invited to this, um, what's it called? The new, uh, um, uh, da, 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 uh, clubhouse or whatever it is. Um, so maybe we can have a you know a hangout clubhouse thing sometime. Uh, yeah, no problem, Zay. Uh, no, yeah, but really, feel free to if I if I can help in any way, just just let me know. Um, I know that we've we've never met in person, I guess, but but I feel like I've I've, I've seen your effect on the online communities that you're, that you're a part of. Um, so I, I can speak as both a streamer and a, and a member of communities, um, and I think you do a really great a great job. Um, yeah, so I, I, I know that. I absolutely know that you do do a really great job uh, in making people feel welcome in these online spaces, which I, I imagine is exactly what a moderator needs to do, uh, the skills they need. Um, you'll, you'll, be per you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. Um, great. Uh, yeah, you got this, as, as, as Rob says. Um, Nicola says, video game versus board game side. The tool skills and the channels through which the game safe base are also very different. If I say that I'm a game designer, I don't want people to expect me to know any programming or to be able to download something of mine to their phones is irrelevant to make clear that it's the wood and cardboard type. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's just, you find you, you yeah, but I, I guess, uh, but I think that's definitely true. I guess Rory does make a good point that it would be great. I would also quite, and that's why I like, I love Bez's dev cons as well, because sometimes there were digital designers who came to that. Um, I love any any chances to bring together people from from those different communities, even if it's like a small subset of people who are happy to kind of do the crossover. Um, there, there doesn't feel like there are many places where that happens, and that would be great. Maybe, maybe we can have it here. Who knows? Maybe I can. Maybe, I, I don't know. I, I know a few. Uh, uh, I mean, that was actually a fun thing in in, in Cambridge. Actually, we had uh, we had the playtest group, but actually, for a long time in the early part. There was a meetup of uh, video game designers that happened just before it, and often a subset of those would come along to our playtesting afterwards, and we got to kind of know each other. Um, so these are people like Terry Cavana, who's uh, like the Super Hexagon. Uh, he's kind of well known, or like Dicey Dungeons. Um, there was um, Stephen Lavelle of like Stephen Sausage Rolls, St Stephen Sausage Roll fame. Uh, and and they were great folks, and 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 it was like that was a really nice opportunity to kind of get to know that world. And maybe maybe I can have them on sometime, and we can we can chat about um, you know video versus tabletop game design. If that that would be interesting. Yeah, I'll put I'll put that on actually, because that could be um, could be into interesting, um, and I'm sure they would uh, would would be up for it possibly. Uh, the game is, oh yes, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, the game design roundtable is that yeah that you have this this mixture and they have hosts from each of the each of the disciplines. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Um, yeah, the pitching games feels very interview adjacent as well. That's true. That's true. Um, although I I you know it's rare that that I don't know the interviewers very well now. Um, which is but I do agree there is that certain sense of like nervousness and hoping that you're kind of presenting yourself well and, and things like that. Um, yeah. Uh, true. What does such a portfolio look like? Oh, maybe was this talking about? Um, uh, oh, okay. I'm catching up to the, the clipping thing. Okay, good. I'm glad you clipped it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, 
Yes, I'd love to see a montage of you. Yeah, we should get to do that. Uh, we should um, remind Bez maybe uh, to do that later. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't download Twitch clips. What, were you saying you can't, or you it, can I download them and send them to you? Is that is that possible? Just just let me know. Uh, welcome to the Rory Rants channel. Um, yeah, I saved that water. I get my own Twitch channel. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I love to love to see uh, stream Rory if, if you're up for it, or if you want to come on um, and 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 we can have a, a ranty a ranty uh, Rory Wednesday or something like that. Um, you know, like. Our Rory's roundabout rants and ruminations. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Uh, welcome, Bez. How are you going? Welcome, welcome. We just, yeah, we're just, uh, just speaking about you. Um, uh, Zay, we're all wishing Zay the best uh, with her um, interview today. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I've been really happy with the the Twitch side of things. Actually, I've, I've generally found it very positive. Um, and even like the very big, like bigger channels, like maybe not so much in, 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 in board games, but also elsewhere, everyone still seems super like happy and really friendly and welcoming and things. So yeah, yeah, it, it's really cool. Um, and I think I've actually, uh, caught up and Rory would love to come on. Excellent. We will, we will set that up. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've caught up on chat finally. Uh, yeah, better fill with no Rob. Stop, stop. Now Zate's gonna put the one of those massive um, symbol filled posts that I don't know how it works or anything like that. But uh, yeah, well, that was a bit of a ride. <laughs> rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Yeah. I do, I do, I really remember that. Yeah, it's 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 uh, like uh, French and Saunders, right? Like the, the there was like this um, Titanic. Uh, spoof i don't know what it was for uh was it uh, like just for laughs or whatever you know that red red nose kind of like charity stuff um if anyone hasn't seen uh french and saunders do titanic um it's absolutely hilarious uh that yeah and it's it's uh, I, maybe it's the rhubarb joke from from somewhere else i already remember it from this maybe it came from something even earlier than that but yeah they would always get the like the extras to to mimic uh people talking um rhubarb 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 I can paste into the chat. Do I need to paste something, or do you, do you want me to paste something? Did I say I want to paste something? Um, <laughs> just let me know. I can't keep up. It's too much. It's too much. It's too crazy. Uh, so, so what is everyone's uh, plans uh, for today? Um, what is? Uh, uh, I hope. Uh, what, 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 uh, well, we know Zayn has an interview, uh, which is going to absolutely, um, smash. I'm, I'm absolutely certain of it. Uh, I have a works if they're even type. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense to me. Um, oh, uh, yeah, no, no, we can cover that. Um, I, yeah, I guess I will be working on some games. It looks like we're gonna have, uh, have after we were bemoaning, I was bemoaning playtesting yesterday on Bez's stream. Uh, looks like we've organized a bit of a playtesting day on the weekend, which will be good because I have, one thing I've realized is I don't really like playtesting online at the end of the day because often I'm just a bit exhausted and sitting in front of the computer even more is not my my um, preference. So um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, have, have, have it during the day, and that, and that should be fun with, with the Cambridge folks. Uh, Rory is going to take some time off today. Got a few things finished. Might play some games. Excellent, excellent. Um, I think that's, that sounds like a great plan. Aqua is going to be meeting with Nicholas later. Um, Nicholas, I got your email as well. Uh, it's on the on the. I, I, I am I'm considering it and reading it. I just haven't quite. It hasn't filtered through um, the various. Things that I that I'm up to at the moment, uh, so I will I will get to that. Um, that's also the part of streaming where you just uh, you everyone in chat is reminding you of the things that you were supposed to be doing. <laughs> um, I'm also hoping to take a bit of look at um, so this is Polygonia, a prototype of uh, Tony and, and mine uh, that I promised that I would take a bit of a look at and um, uh, um. I need to get back to Tony. It's been actually a few months since I said I would 
give it another look at and 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 get back to that. <laughs> so I have considered reading your email. Yes, that should be my my auto like my auto response uh, auto email response. No, but it's true. But but sometimes you just I'm not I, I'm quite bad at that actually. I'll see an email, and especially when I I'll skim it. But then especially when it's something that requires me to think a bit more, I'll then go like, okay, no, hold on, I'm going to just leave it, you know, until I have the kind of mental space to do it. But uh, you know, <laughs> Rob, Rob's asking anybody in chat does does Rob need to do anything for you? Uh, do do let Rob know. Uh, Aqua would like a coffee. Okay, yeah, get, get to get on that. Um, yeah, he's <laughs> being considered. Yeah. No. Anyway, we'll we'll I will uh, I will get through it. I yeah I think that is one thing that I have to get a, a bit better at actually is kind of comp. It's that mixture of compartmentalizing and, and doing something deeply, right? You need you know you have lots of small things to do and and do you just do a lot of small things or do you realize actually there's a lot of um, value in um, uh, you know is focusing on something for one or two hours and, and doing it properly and how do you switch between the two and uh, I mean, that, such is the life of a tabletop game designer. You're often switching between projects in a day. You, and, and anyway, I'm not very good at like going fully into a project for like six hours. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a machine like that. I, I, I'm not as good. But uh, yeah. Um, but well, I hope I hope everyone yeah has has a really nice day. Um, we all, we're about ten minutes out from from Bez starting up. Uh, uh, her stream. It is on today, right? Someone will tell me if, if it's not on, but I'm I'm pretty sure it is on. I think it's with Rita today uh, again. Rita is back, and and you're designing something together, if if I am correct. Um, so I might uh yeah. If anyone's got any any more questions, queries, uh, random random points to make, uh, emails to be considered. You know, if, if take this ten minutes to 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 take an email in your inbox that you haven't read yet. And and sit down and and you have permission to to uh, read it properly and consider it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be getting some breakfast too because I I'm never organised enough to have breakfast before these things. So uh, that that is something to uh, to think about certainly. Um, anyhow, just checking. Uh, maybe we'll have a quick go at, uh, it's a nice way to, to end the, the stream normally, so I might do a, a quick uh, Tiny Islands. Um, it is Wave Wednesday, uh, as, as it always is on <laughs> Drew the Board Gaming. So I'm going to have to, uh... oh, okay, here we go, Alex says. Did you take the pitch for the Volcano Adventure game? Uh, oh, yes, uh, yeah, I should say, actually, well, as, as a, a little bit of, um, uh, as a bit of, uh, uh, well, it's not sadness, I can't. So yes, yesterday, um, Dice Tower released um, uh, one of uh, one of Tom's sort of like eight negative reviews. And unfortunately, the latest adventure game, uh, Volcanic Island, was part of that. Um, and for those who don't know, uh, yeah, so Volcanic Island wasn't really, it wasn't one of Phil and I's. Um, it was the one from Cosmos. Um, it was kind of the first one kind of independently developed. Uh, and I think, um, no, we didn't take a pitch for it, really. I think because it was from Cosmos, um, they sort of decided that's what they're going to do. And it was a little bit of, there are other sort of like um, uh, problems with, not problems, it was just like kind of scheduling. Like they knew they had to work on a new one quite quickly, so they kind of did it internally. Um, and I think it is a really interesting scenario. It's a pity that, I, I think ultimately just it, it just had some problems with just like, it had to be done quickly. Um, it's actually a very comp it's probably the most complex um, scenario to date and I think a lot of the stuff that that Tom says about like editing and language I think it just has a lot to do with that it is the most complex in terms of just like the most written and it was written first in German which probably makes some of the translation more difficult maybe um, and 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 because it's more complex you're more likely to get bugs and things like that and I know they had a few problems with that and I think it's just also the earlier that these scenarios were made, you know, we haven't kind of developed the process to, to you know, I think we now have a very strong process um, to like really work on these in, in, a, in a good way. So um, yeah, it's a pity, it's a pity, but I, I can understand where Tom's coming from and I hope that he will, uh, if Tom's listening, I'm sure he's not listening, but uh, I hope he will try Grand Hotel Aban. I feel like that's like a return to strength and I feel like it's an example of like when we've got all the processes going in, like for Cosmos, um, 
like working Phil and I working with Cosmos together in a like a really like logical way. I feel like we've got them all in place now from Grand Hotel onwards. Um, so I, ho I hope um, it will be all right. Um, Bass said, "What's the drawing in the back corner? Maybe you've just been put." Oh, okay, yeah. Um, you mean this one, I guess. Uh, these are these are prints actually from um, Yellow. So Yellow does these art books, um, which they give to like distributors and, and people, and they take them from games, uh, like published games. So this is the cover of Raids, um, and this is um, I think an earlier cover of Fairy Tale because this isn't actually the the thing of fairy tale um so yeah they they and they're really done really nicely that you can pull out the 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 prints uh, individually so um yeah so it's it's one of my games uh which, which which is nice um yeah uh you can i think you can go as early as you want <laughs> you know i would go 10 minutes yeah i mean i think you can just go there a bit earlier i don't think it's a problem uh rob asks, does cosmos approach you to make new titles for the range or do you create and pitch yourself um, it's, we don't really pitch, pitch new things. It's done pretty collaboratively. Like we'll just be discussing, like we meet fairly regularly and we'll sort of chat about like, oh, what would be cool to do? Or because also will often have an idea of like, oh, we want really want a family one now. So we need to think about a, a topic that will like a theme that will fit that. It's been, I would say it's been pretty, um, pretty collaborative. I don't think we pitch it, um, yeah, definitely the last few have been kind of like, I can't remember who had the first idea. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. It, it gave me a, a furnace vibe. I, I guess it's that kind of like, like the white kind of negative space and the, and the things like that. But uh, yeah, it is really nice. It's a good brown, um, fantastic uh, illustrator. So yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so now it's done collaboratively. The next one that we'll work on together, we kind of pitched, or I like I, I mentioned like, oh, this would be a cool topic. Um, but yeah, I think we've got so much to explore that, uh, yeah, I, I don't think we're any any trouble. And and now we really do work really together. It's like a truly collaborative experience from the very start. So Cosmos will work on um, Michael's very good on the kind of story part, like narrative, and and he'll work a bit on like an overarching story. We'll work on how the um uh like how the puzzle might work out the structure like it will all work together from, from a very early point um yeah uh <laughs> guess asking a room of men if i should put my hair up or down is not going to be helpful uh well yes and you get well i don't I can't talk for everybody else but you could see the the you could see the um the careful attention i pay to my own hair is is, is not going to help very much uh yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I'm I'm sure it will be fine. Today. I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. So well, I mean, thank you all for the questions. Um, we might not actually have time for Tiny Islands now because I, I feel like we should we should be on time for for Bez. Uh, I I don't want us to miss any interesting interesting chats or anything like that. I'm trying to think if there's anything any other sort of tidbits that I I could. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Good luck. Good luck, Zay. You'll be fantastic. Let us let us know if you if it's over by the time pop back into Bez's stream, and let us know. Um, yeah, you'll be fantastic. And use the and yeah, send them to me basically if if if, if they don't know how awesome you are. Uh, great. So well, um, yeah, we're coming up to coming up to 10, 10 a.m. GMT, 11, 11 a.m. CT. I uh, hope everyone will have a fantastic day. As always. Um, Get some good work done, or, or whatever, uh, and or enjoy some games, or, or or whatever. Enjoy enjoy the sun if there's sun, or enjoy the rain if there's rain. Uh, tomorrow, uh, just a reminder: a special stream, uh, 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, so myself, Bez, Amaria Kill, Michael Fox, talking about uh, being game designers and streaming. Um, a little bit of kind of maybe some of the chat we had today is, is a little bit related to that. Um, so would really recommend uh, coming along if you can. Um, otherwise catch up on it. It'll be obviously available on on Twitch, you know, for, for some amount of time. And then I'll, I'll of course, uh, I'll try and find a way to put it up on, on YouTube, although it'll be on Amari's uh, channel. So I don't know how that's going to work. But uh, I will I will work some some way out to do that. Um, so yeah, if someone lets me know when Bez is on, we'll, we'll obviously go and raid Bez. Um, but yeah, 
up until that, I think I think that's yeah, it's been a good a good hangout. I hope it's been I hope it's been enjoyable. Hope re relaxing uh, for those uh, you know the normal normal kind of uh, you know board game cover design folks. Um, I always yeah, it's, it's it's an enjoyable kind of nice start to the day, a bit more relaxed and things like that. And I still have a lot of my tea to drink, which is as normal in, in, in all of these streams that I always seem to to be a bit. Uh, <laughs> I make this lovely big cup of tea that I never never finish in the time of my stream, but uh, I need I need more people telling me to hydrate or, or whatever like that. Um, so yes, and I should try. I'll try and catch uh, Michael today. Uh, I feel like I haven't haven't seen uh, his stream for a while. Uh, I need to I need to use my points and rechallenge who the whoever the reigning champion is in, in over on uh, Michael Fox's stream. Um, so so that would be a bit of, a bit of fun. Uh, yeah, I should also say anyone who, anyone who likes Eurovision, uh, it's also been quite a fun time, a lot, of, a lot of new songs coming out. I must say, personally, I'm a little bit disappointed in the Australian Eurovision entry this year. Um, for whatever reason, it's just not really my kind of song. Um, but, you know, can't, can't have everything. Uh, I'm still I'm still getting over Kano not getting selected for Norway, so it's uh, you know it's it's a bittersweet uh, bittersweet time for me uh, this this time. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's like you need like the I need like so it's like the screen in T which like bam 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 for a few minutes. Um, but let's have a look. Is Bez on? Bez isn't on yet. We'll... Two. Oh, he is designing a Eurovision game. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll definitely have to drop by. He said we we were going to design it together. What's what's Michael doing? <laughs> disappointing. Disappointing. I'll go got to got to go in and, and tell him. You know, you thought you could do this without me. Um, no, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Well, that, I I will be interested. I will I will try and drop by. Um, yeah, it always just depends how sort of meetings are, are lining up during the day and, and all that sort of thing. But uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so we are we are impatiently waiting for Bez to start start streaming. What are you doing, Bez? Are you on time today? Stop uh, by, Bez. It'll be it'll be sometime. Going for a cut. Check your emails. I might have missed an email. Who's saying I've missed an email? I, I haven't been checking my emails at this moment. Um, we, because I have, if Rob, if you've emailed me, I've missed something. I've missed the Eurovision email. If there is an email, just to just to let that know. I, don't, I can't see anything. So if you're referring to something, uh, yeah, let me know. Oh, okay. Sorry. Whoops. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> no worries. Uh, I'm so confused. So confused. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Now, now that. <laughs> oh, a Euro game. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Very, very nice. Very nice. I see that I have a new um, email from the the Czech. Uh, like you have to register for this like Czech electronic mail special. Like you have like this special official email inbox for the Czech government um, where they send various bits and pieces. So I have a new one, which I have to check. So I, I should also remember to do that after the stream. Um, it might be just something to do with I need to pay them some money. I imagine. Um, yeah. So, so you all like you like stuff. How about that? That sport team. Does anyone like Blaze? Is it baseball? No, I'm forgetting. What's the kind of virtual baseball league? Um, is anyone? Is anyone? Is that a thing that, that people enjoy? I, I must admit, I'm. I've only watched the um, We Make Games or the the Quins video about it, but I've never been been sort of up to date with it. Um, oh, this is on. All right, all right. <laughs> you don't have to listen to me vamp anymore. <laughs> But uh, well, anyway, thank you for, for everyone who's hung on until then. Uh, but we will go and say hi to Bez. Um, hope everyone has a fantastic day, as always. And uh, yeah, let's 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 go.
Uh, I've got to check. I see. I see what you're doing. I see. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. I know. I'm not gonna uh, leave because of all the uh, all the all the terrible puns. I can't. I can't handle it. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.